to find the lateral area of a 3D composite below. We have a cylinder. This is the cylinder at the, at the bottom. And we have a hemisphere on top. So let's go ahead and write down cylinder plus hemisphere. You should know what a hemisphere, the formula used for that. And the lateral area of a cylinder, go to your formula chart. We are dealing with 2 pi rh plus, and then the hemisphere is 4 pi r squared divided by 2. Close to this piece here. That's going to be the height. Okay, so this is your h. And this number here, 4, is close to the radius part. Okay, so this is your r. The r is 4, and the height of the cylinder is 6. Okay, notice that the r is in both. We'll use the same number for both. What did it say to do about for pi? Okay, it says leave the answer in terms of pi. So remember that we want to put pi at the end. So let's go ahead and do 2 times r times 6 and put pi here plus 4 times and then the radius right is 4 it's 4 times 4 squared divide by 2 put pi at the end all right and then to, we can factor out this pi right so that we have um, 2 times 4 times 6 plus 4 times 4 squared divide by 2 and all of that with pi at the end okay <clears throat> so go to your calculator to put 2 times 4 times 6 plus do the control divide remember press the control and the divide to get your fraction 4 times 4 squared on top and then 2 on the bottom and just press enter now that right there is everything inside the parentheses so 80 and then bring in the pi and what are the units inches so we want to put inches squared finish time and